welcome back to another vlog. I love you. I'll be right there. So we're here for Aiden's practice today and oh my goodness. They must have volleyball tournaments or something going on. But they only have one field going with soccer. The other one's completely empty. Of course hockey's going on. There must be no gymnastics going on. Thank goodness because we had to park at the gymnastics building just to walk over to the hockey. And Barry's like, we got 15 minutes to get him dressed. I said, there's no park. I mean, I rode around the entire parking lot and it's huge. Anyway, that's where we're at this morning, bright and early. Um, I did not want to get up. I took a Benadryl last night because my rash started. Oh my, I still have my rash a little. So much better this month. Um, wow. Can we see those? I don't even know if you can on camera. That's that's awesome. Well, they popped out last night, so I was like, let's take a Benadryl. So I did that, and of course, when Barry woke me up this morning, and I was so tired, I was like, five more minutes. I mean, I remember saying that, and he didn't say nothing. He just walked out, and then we got this morning. I was like, gosh, why are you waking me up so early? We got. I mean, I'm I'm so ill coming off of Benadryl. I really am, but I'm better now. I still haven't woke up fully, but I'm I'm awake enough. I drove, and I'm I'm good, you know, but. I'm still tired. But we have some fun we're doing today. I say it's gonna be fun because we're gonna go look for something. I told you this in the last vlog that we're gonna be going to look for something today and I'm excited to go look for it. But anyway, Briley's with us. She's back here being all quiet. Oh, she's writing her paper. You guys, she's got to have this done by Monday. She has plenty of time, but she writes really slow. They make her write in cursive on her papers and stuff, and cursive's not her favorite. So she has to take her time so you can actually read it, because if not, you wouldn't even be able to understand it. Mm. Look, everybody's coming over here to park now. Mm. I swear. <laughs> All right, you ready to go in? Yep. Okay. Ask Briley to go turn on the heaters. She did it! <laughs> She's looking at Jack Hughes. Um, I am wearing this again. I don't, I don't know, did I give you guys an update on the coat? It is fantastic. I know people have commented back and I'm trying to work through comments right now. Um, I commented about people last night. I had comments on my video. Oh, yay, that's good. But yeah, so I've been commenting back and trying to let you guys know how I enjoy the jacket. I enjoy it very much. I actually have it on high right now because um, it's really cold in here. If your kids play hockey, Highly recommend. They also make gloves and stuff, and I'm like, hmm, okay, maybe I want gloves next. I think they make socks, gloves, beanies, coat. Hmm, they might even make pants, I don't know. But yeah, I want like the whole suit. So today's practice is a little different. They sent an email out letting everybody know that they are actually gonna be doing like 30 to 40 minutes or 30, 35 minutes of just skating skills. So instead of breaking out into stations like they normally do, they're gonna have them just doing straight skate skills on their skates because I, think, I guess a lot of the kids really need footwork. And you gotta have footwork to play hockey. So they wanted to really take some time to really work on that. So today's gonna be a little different and their legs are gonna be very sore, I'm pretty sure, because they're having to do like a lot of skills, but it'll be good for them. And I know Aiden really needed this, so I'm pretty sure a lot of them did. cold in there today for some reason but I'm good now much better goalie wasn't there. I saw that so yeah your goalie wasn't there 
We're now getting gas because I didn't realize. I looked down and I said, oh, we might need to go to the gas station. But that, the van's done really good on gas, you guys. I hadn't had to fill up since buying the van. So it actually went over a week. A week and one day before having to get gas in it. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, we're now going to... We'll run home. Aiden's going to change or do something. Well, I've already changed. I just got to get my Crocs. Okay, he wants his shoes because we didn't bring them. And then we're going to go eat. Lunch was really good. It was really good. We are now headed to where I was mentioning to you guys we were going. Originally, I just didn't say where, and that place is the furniture store. Nothing exciting probably for you guys, but I'm kind of first. excited. What? Oh, he's supposed to go that way to Duncan then. Sorry. <sighs> Riley! Boy, oh boy. Yo, I did not realize it was that way and not this way. Can we get Duncan afterwards? said after we eat. Well, technically that still is after we eat. I mean, as long as we get it before we eat again, it's after we eat. <laughs> <laughs> can you deal, Briley, just for a minute so we can go and get Are this we done? we at the furniture store all No, day. we're not. They have complimentary coffee. I don't want that. Y'all are going to be, we're going to be here I'm not going to be there all day because I don't want to be there all day. I guarantee we're going to be here until at least 4 o'clock. I guarantee you we're not. We're no, because there's another one I'm going to. Exactly. Mom. We're going to get many there. Let me live. I guarantee you we'll be here till four. You watch. Why can't y'all just enjoy life? Thanks, Dad. We never do. And just go with the flow. I'm running off of an hour of sleep and I'm thirsty. Whose fault is that? Out. Your mom's because she kept us running around last night. What do you, I did not. We went home at seven o'clock. Briley stayed up all night last night because she thought if she got all her work done, then Liza could come over today. And Liza still ain't coming over today. So you stayed up no, all night last night for nothing. No, I didn't stay up all night for last night for nothing. I had to get editing done because we weren't going home before time Yeah, but to edit. you didn't have to do that paper. You could have done it paper tomorrow. Well, we're going to the furniture so store. Thanks, Liza, for not coming over today. You can't run up all night for nothing. And I know you'll see this. <laughs> she comes home from school and watches our videos while she eats her snack. Hey, Liza, I miss you. I love you. Hey, Liza, I don't miss you. <laughs> He is so mad. He's actually quiet when I do Shut it. up! So we're headed to the furniture store. Maybe one furniture store. Maybe two. Good. I, I couldn't even find your handle. There's no handle. It's up here. It's up here. I missed it. Okay. So we're headed there because what I'm looking, if you've been listening to the vlogs, I've mentioned it a couple times. I'm looking bedroom furniture. And I'm just really over our mismatched stuff in our room. I don't know how Barry feels about it, but my little dresser, we bought that Barry. You realize we've had that ever since we first got together? Yeah. We've had it, well, not quite the very first time we got together. Like I was 20 years old. Not quite, because I remember we had that iron bed. Remember? We had the iron bed and the wood furniture, like yeah. brown wood. Yeah. We had that for a few years, and then we bought this bedroom suit, and we have had it, I mean, pretty much the whole time we've had Riley. Okay? So we've had it forever. And it's just time to get me some new. The kids got new furniture, and they've constantly got new. You know, because Briley got a different bed, and she got an end table. And we switched things around. We did the bunk bed for a while, and it's mine and Dad's turn, Not right? Bunk beds for self, wants it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's trying to get rid of the bunk bed. He's over it. He wants me to sell it. I told him I would, but be patient. But we need new furniture, don't we? Yeah. We deserve a new bedroom suit. And here's the thing: I'm not even worried about getting like matching everything because I like my bed frame. It's metal. I like it. It was, you know, $25 at the furniture store and it's done great, but I want a headboard. So I'm going to add a headboard. I might do a tuft headboard. So I'm thinking about doing a fabric headboard, two end tables that match and are big enough to hold our stuff. And then I want to get rid of our dresser that our TV's on. We originally had that was a mirror on top, but we got rid of the mirror and we put our TV up there. I'm thinking I want more of a chest, um, a tall dresser, not the long one that you put a mirror on. And that can be even a random color, like a teal blue or a navy. I mean, that doesn't have to necessarily be matching to my nightstands. 
So nothing necessarily has to match except the nightstands, but that's what I'm after today. After some furniture. And we're going actually, the first place we're gonna go is Rooms to Go because we had good luck there with our couch. Um, and I had really good luck there with my table, my dining room table and that blue thing that we caught the school cabinet that all the kids schools in. I got both those pieces of rooms to go in a back room that had a clearance sale on and that stuff is solid wood nice. Even nicer than some of the stuff on their floor. I'm just going to be honest. So I'm hoping that room's open. They only open that room, they told me, one or two times a year. I didn't call because I just want to go anyway. But I'm hoping that room's open. Barry said he thought he saw online where it is available to go in there and shop. I hope so. Because they have some of the best stuff in that room. And it's on sale, like clearance stuff. So, wish us luck. Stick around. And if we find something, we'll show you guys what we find. <laughs> okay. I told you I'll take you there. Okay. I can't hear you. What? I don't know. He was asking about the fountains. All right, so Aiden wants to go to the kids section and check out some furniture. This is the outlet part. Back here in this door, they have a warehouse sale, and I did ask, and it is happening next month. So maybe we can come back and get something then if we don't find something now. You want that? No, I'm just What is that? I don't know. It's a light. No. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. Well, you said something behind me. You said mama something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Riley, would you sleep in this with me? Mm -mm. <laughs> Why would y'all share a bunk bed? Y'all have your own. You have your own bedroom. First of all, we have a bunk bed at home. I'm just saying, like, what if we move into a different house and it's only a one? If it's only a two bedroom, then you'd have to share. We would just keep ours. No, me and Bradley. Yeah, we have a bunk bed. No, me and no, but that one's not as cool as this one. So you like this because it's got the big bed and everything? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't need a bunk bed. That's not what we're looking today. So let's keep moving. Keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. These are like headboards, but I'm not, I don't like those. Do you like, I don't like this either. This is like leather or something? No, mm, mm Okay, keep looking. Thinking something like tall, like this maybe, but not this color. Oh, buying furniture is so hard. What? What? You go up, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go up to somebody's door and you do the- Stop. Look. She told me I had 15 minutes to run through here and yeah, look for furniture. We got here at 15, like quarter till. It was, it was quarter, it was, no, it was past that. It was almost 10, 1248. I'm coming. You know what this looks like? What? A door knocker. <laughs> it does. There's nobody in there, I hope. Let me slide down. A very dark cream color. Yeah. No. That's not terrible though. That is huge. No, that is mm -mm, not my style. Sorry. I don't mind this actually, Barry. I don't hate this piece really. And it's very solid feeling. But is it going to be hard to find end tables to match it? That one's broke. <laughs> Probably come here. Right. We're so loud. We got Lord to quit being so loud in public. <laughs> you know us if you see us in public. Okay. He like <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> that could work. It could work. Do some super glue duct tape. Go back. You want that one? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just the way it's made. No, right there. Oh, they're cuts. So the clearance section is not turning out to be a good anything. So we might have to go to the main floor. We'll probably go to the main floor and find something. Okay, well, um, we're going <gasps> to the kids' aisle now. We so. are, we are going to go. <gasps> Hold on, I didn't go down that little piece right here at the back. <laughs> are you sure? Are you just saying that? Aiden, no. no. Actually, are film. Film. It's you want, fake. fake. Like, yes. You want, you want no. Let's go to the main. The Let's go to the main showroom. Oh, did you see a recliner in here though? No. Okay, keep walking, guys. Okay, back in the main showroom. Oh wow. It doesn't even work. It does. It just lit up. The headrest goes down. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look, the headrest moves. Okay. 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 That's enough. 
Okay, we're gonna go to the kids section and we're trying to look as we walk. That, I like that. The outdoor stuff, the pool, the beach. Yeah, I'll take that. I didn't know they even had outdoor furniture. This is new bear. Can we walk through there? Yeah, go. Oh, this stuff is like so nice. I just said I wish we could screen in our back porch, like our little deck area. They even sell heaters. I see it. Lay down and spring the back up. Okay, that's cool. No, I like that idea. All the way down. There's so many buttons. And then there's a. He's got lumbar. There's a button press. Yeah. It blows up in your back for your lumbar support. You ready? You want to break your neck? <laughs> oh, dang. Are you ready? That was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull my stomach down, not out. No, just sit there. Okay, watch. So I told her these come up so you can sit on them. Go. <laughs> I don't know why they're not staying. They're supposed to stay. See if it'll stay now. Did it stay? It stayed. That was so funny though. Oh my gosh, A. It turns colors. Yes. Blue. Pink. A golden color. Well, look. Like That's green. really cool, isn't it, Barry? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Be good to like stretch your neck out. Is this the one? Dad, you can look at the lights under it. There's lights under it. You're this racism. Yes or no? Was that a no? I like it. All right, we are leaving rooms to go empty handed, but with a bunch of laughs. That was fun. I said, we were just in here at like picking on furniture. Just, I don't know, it was funny. Had to be there, but you were there. You were there, did you laugh? I laughed at the kids. Um, Riley tried another recliner. I think I, did I film that one? Where your head was like laid all the way back? Yeah. That was pretty funny. It just, I don't know why that she lay there. I just, I got tickled. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> What did you guys think of the red one though? Not the color. The one that. The nice one. It was probably the nice one we saw. And it was real leather, I believe. Oh. So, what did y'all think? I mean, it looked pretty nice. I don't have to have an electric recliner, but I don't even think they make old fashioned ones anymore, do they? But we are going to be going to Ashley Furniture. There is an outlet right down the road from here. Never even knew it was there. I had two furniture stores in mind today. This one and the other one. And then we found Ashley. So that's kind of how Ashley came into the mix. So we're going to try them, see what they got. I'm going to run through there really quick because I don't think their showrooms is big, but it is an outlet. So I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see you there. Are we looking new furniture or are we looking me and dad furniture? Just asking. I know Abe's like, can we go to the kids section? Do you need a new bedroom suit too? <laughs> This is one I like. I actually do. I like the dresser. I like the end. But I don't know. Are they still going to be too short? Do you think they're okay? We need really tall end tables. Nice stands. He thinks it'll be too short. But I like the bed. Not, not this one. That one. It's tufted, but it's got like the wood around it. They, you could even get one of those if you didn't want to do this. 
But I feel like you'll get more in this, don't you think? Maybe. So, I don't know. This is one we like. We agreed on one. I also like that one. That tuft headboard right there. I do like that one too, but we need to find somebody to ask because if you see, it comes with a footboard and we don't need all that. We just need the headboard. And speaking of couches, I love this couch. I love it those pillows and i love the texture of it oh it's so pretty okay i'm keeping this one in mind for future and aiden likes it obviously because he went to sleep okay so ashley furniture store i'm gonna be honest with you they had some nice furniture i love the couch i loved a lot of the pieces but they didn't have exactly the bed i wanted they did have a bed like i showed you guys that bed but it's like I told Barry, because it's got that wood around, it's going to be hard if you don't get exactly the pieces that come with it. I kind of want an all tuft headboard, is what I'm after. So I love the other one. Had made my mind up, that's really the one we were looking at, because we could put other pieces with it. Well then, he says he can't sell me just the headboard on that one, it has to be the whole entire bed. And I'll have no use for the rails on the side, no use for the footboard, because I don't want a footboard. So that was a no go and the other one he could sell me just the headboard but like i said i just wasn't 100 percent on it it was like buying a car in there and what i mean by that is when i go to buy something or look at furniture or whatever i'm going to shop for i don't want somebody following me around the whole time pretty much begging me to buy something i want to be able to just go in and look you know and enjoy ourselves and talk and laugh and have a good time from the moment we walked in they wanted our name they were like following us around he wanted my name and phone number so he could call me if this came i said look i'm not purchasing anything today i'm just looking i know that's fine ma'am but you know if you give me your name and number i can call you if anything goes on clearance i'm like it's okay i said i'm not giving a name and number today and briley goes mama i would have felt so pressured i'd have said yeah here's my name my number my address i mean i wasn't even the one they were talking to and i felt so harassed she <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they kept walking behind us. He's like, well, well ma'am, well, ma'am, have you seen this piece of furniture over here? And I'm like, I don't care about the piece of furniture. I'm sorry, but it's ugly. He's like, but ma'am, what about this one over here? I'm like, can you just like please leave here alone? Like, and then we walk two feet to this bed, and we're sitting there talking about the bed, and here, he, here he comes again. Hey guys, you got any questions yet? I'm like, you just saw us two seconds ago. If we didn't have a question, then we don't have questions now. Probably said, Mama, I wouldn't know what to say if he asked for my name and number. I said, Baby, you say no, not right now. You don't have to be rude about it, and I wasn't. I said, no name and number right now. I said, because we're just really shopping. We're just in the market. We don't know exactly what we want, blah, 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 blah. Bradley said, Mama, I would have probably so gave my name and number. I was like, yeah. So I will say the one thing I enjoyed about Rooms to Go, nobody bothered you. But you might have had a salesman. Oh, my gosh. You want to tell them what happened? Tell them what happened when the salesman walked by me. This is another thing. If you ever see me out in public and I don't even acknowledge you or I, I might even know you and I don't even look, I'm just like, just like this focused on where I'm going I don't really pay attention to anything but my kids my husband who's around you know what I'm saying with us I'm not one to wander off and be like worried about what's going around so we're walking through the store at rooms to go tell them what the salesman did I didn't even I didn't even know what happened we're walking by him and he goes hey how are you and I said hey good oh you spoke yeah oh I didn't hear that he was talking to you and he was staring right at you and he said, hey, how are you? And you didn't say nothing. So I said, hey, good. Uh-huh. And um, he looked at you and went, mm. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do it on, look, I didn't she do it on has, purpose. She has no manners. All right, it, I didn't hear him. I did not hear him. It was not being rude. I'm telling you, I don't pay attention. If I, because if I'm on a mission for something, like if I know I'm going in this store, this one store for a particular item, that's the only thing on my mind. So my mind was on like this one piece of furniture I saw like in the distance. It was like a little dresser thing. And I walked right past him and I was rude, but I didn't do it on purpose, I promise. Because if I walk by and Bradley starts laughing, I said, what happened? She said, Mama, that guy was talking to you. I said, what guy? Have you tried it already? Yeah. How'd they do? Good. It's good today? Mm -hmm. You know, Ducky can be hit or miss sometimes, but it's good today. How's your tea, eh? Great. Good. Dad, how's your coffee? Great. How's your coffee, Mom? Great. Fantastic. I didn't get any. She, never she don't does. drink coffee. I do sometimes. It gives me a bit heartburn, so I just kind of quit, but I am going to get me a sweet treat. 
You guys, I got the big ones this time. Last time we got those minis. We got a bunch of apple, a bunch of the vanilla, and then two buttercreams, and yeah, they look fantastic. Officially made it to the last furniture store of the day in the nick of time, because they closed in like an hour. We're not gonna be here an hour. This place isn't that big. But we're gonna go see what they have. We'll let you know. So they have, watch out baby. They have this one here, I love it. Cheaper, and it's got the same thing with the little outlets on the back chest and the bed but the whole bed's got everything and i don't want this we'll have to ask now we're looking at recliners and we're trying to decide which one we like better Bradley likes this print and this fabric but these two are different chairs this one has a hidden latch for pulling it and that one's on the outside we left the furniture store empty-handed didn't buy anything but I did find the chair I wanted, but I love, 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 love the chair. It swivels, it glides, it reclines, and it's really cute. I love the pattern. So found that, that was a bonus. And then the bedroom stuff, we found what we wanted as well, I think. I do wanna do a little more internet shopping just to be 100%, that is the one we want to go with because I told Barry the only thing concerns me, the, nightstands the drawers are a whole lot smaller than the ones we had that Barry has now for me it wouldn't be a big deal because I'm already dealing with a small table beside my bed so that would just give me more room to put stuff so I'd be happy but he stores a lot of his like pajamas and just extra clothes in there and they were kind of small when you opened them the cool feature though on the back it had um, outlets and it had two USB plugs. So that was a bonus, that was nice. So that would give us extra added things we could plug in. Um, and that was on both of them. And I know we'd use them. So that was nice, but it's like, is that the one we want to go with? The dresser was tall, just like I was looking. And the drawers on that were pretty decent size. So I can't complain about those. I do think I have more dresser or drawer space on my dresser now then I will in that, but I'm getting the nightstand with three drawers that I'll have some extra room to put stuff to. So I think it'll work out good for us, uh, but I do want to measure how tall we got the measurements. I want to measure and see how tall it is compared to the one we have now, because we definitely want at least that height, because our bed's already so tall. Lots to decide on still. I think if anything, the first purchase will probably be the bedroom, because that's what we were standing there talking about. Do we get it all right now? Do we get just the pieces we need for the moment? But it was fun shopping today. We had a good time shopping. At least I did. It was a lot of laughs, a lot of fun. And we know what we want, what we don't want. So that was a bonus. Came home and did a little rearranging of our furniture just to see what's gonna fit, what's not gonna fit. And I'm really loving the way this looks even better that I think I'm gonna leave it until we make a decision later on something. The living room looks a little silly, but I will explain. The chair I showed you, I think it was the last chair. I really hope I did film it. I want that chair. I think it's comfortable. I love the fact that it rocks, it swivels, and it's like a gliding rocking chair, so it's really comfortable. It also reclines but you don't know it reclines unless you actually tell somebody it reclines. It looks like a regular chair because the recliner part's hidden on the inside. You can pull it, lay back and But let me show you what I did and I just think it just looks better. It works and I think I'm gonna keep it this way. All right, if you remember, we had the other chair that had all the patterns going on sitting in here. I changed it up and put this chair in here and the reason why is because this chair's solid and it matches the blue in my curtains perfectly. Now, yes, this is a chair that probably does belong in a living room because it's big, you can get comfortable in it, but if this is gonna be a little reading nook eventually with the bookcase, you need a comfy chair in here that you really want to sit in. And if I'm in here like cooking dinner, anybody can sit here and just hang out with me, and I don't know, I just like it. And I just think my personal opinion it looks so, so much better. There's still room for the bookcase, so I'm not worried there. And yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna get a rug now. But part of me just likes the wood. <laughs> so now I don't even know if I'm gonna get a rug. I can, I'm so indecisive, but what do you guys think? Don't you agree that chair looks so, so much better in here? I think so. In here, we have nothing now. This is where the blue chair was. The chair I want to get will sit here, their glider rocker thing. It'll sit here. 
And then we brought this one back in here because, like I told Barry, it has all this like, it has all this navy blue color that matches that perfectly. So I just think this chair just goes so much better in the living room, my opinion, because I felt like that was way too busy to go in there with those curtains, but I love my curtains. So this is what we got right now. And until I purchase that chair, you're just gonna see an empty spot on my floor, but it's okay. Look what dad did. He filled up the hot tub, you guys. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm like so excited. We're not getting in tonight because the water has to heat.